Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Florida for Funshine. One of the most ignored part, in my opinion, on an outboard engine is the thermostat. The thermostat is a simple, small item, uh, expensive, because for what it is, it's, they're pretty expensive, but you have to check it at least once a year, my recommendation, and replace it as merited. Very simple to do, and it will, you know, alleviate any issue that you may have out on the water of overheating. This video will show you how to remove it, clean it, replace it, and test it. So welcome one more time to Florida for Funshine. This is the uh, thermostat on the starboard side. This is the thermostat on the port side. Now this plastic, I can't get to the last um, screw here. Same as this one here. I can't get to the last uh, screw. It's in there under this plastic, so I'm gonna have to remove this plastic and remove this plastic to get to it. It's pretty easy, just have to pull on them because they're snapped in. And then you just pull them here. Okay, and this one is off. First one is off. Now I can get to the four screws there. And I have to snap this one off. There it goes. I'm not gonna remove it completely. I just need room to get to this last screw here. This is where the thermostats are at. Take a look at them and uh, test them. And then we'll uh, make a decision on changing them or just cleaning them up. Okay, I'm doing the voiceover. I lost the, bo uh, the audio. I'm removing the four bolts from uh, the uh, where the thermostats are at, the cover for the thermostats very simple to do they should not be very tight i mean they can be but they should not be uh, those bolts uh, cannot be over tightened because there's a danger that you can break uh, the housing or the cover for them that's one here It doesn't look too bad. We're gonna clean that out, make it nice and shiny. And there's your thermostat right there, where I'm pointing to. I'm gonna pull that out and um, check it, clean it, inspect it, all those good things. So here we go, it's very simple. You can pull it like I'm doing now, uh, but if it should be a little stuck, you can pry a little bit. Just be very careful when you pry it. Uh, you don't wanna break it if it's still a good thermostat. Uh, they're not real cheap inside there doesn't look uh, too bad either i'll clean that up a little bit also to uh before i put the thermostat back all right the thermostat doesn't look that bad i'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean it up a little bit and uh, it should be fine this one looks good i'm gonna still test it make sure it's opening and closing but this looks um it looks pretty good Okay, now we're gonna test it. As you can see, it's closed up. 
we're heating up some water in a little pot there in, in the stove. This little silver um, cap that you see there, right above the uh, washer, the black washer, okay, that should pop up when the water gets hot. So we're dropping it into this pot of uh, water. We're heating it up. Okay, the water should be getting hot now. We're going to pull it out. And then you'll see, let's go ahead and look at it. There it is. Do you see how it popped up? How it elevated up like an elevator, that little silver cap. That means that the thermostat is opening. Now, when the water gets cool, that little cap will go down and it will close the thermostat. So we're going to put some cold water on it now. And as you can see, the silver cap on it uh, went down, closing the thermostat. This is how a thermostat works. Okay, so I've cleaned it and I've tested it and it's a good thermostat. I'm going to go ahead and place it right back. Simple. Slide it in there. Seat it well. And then we're going to put the cap on. So while I do the uh, pull out the other one, I'm going to put a little bit a little bit of uh, just white distilled vinegar inside this little cap. Let it soak there for, you know, as long as it takes me. I'm not going to go crazy with it. But as you can see, I'm going to put a little bit I put a little bit of vinegar in there so I can get that casing clean. And then I'm just going to go ahead. This one is installed already. I just need the cap clean around here a little bit, as you can see gonna clean I'm gonna change the gas gasket is fine I'll check it for leaks okay clean it up here part of the dog we have a lot of dogs barking here so I'll go ahead and check it for leaks it's fine here and then I'll go ahead and I'm going to uh, remove this one here okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing into the uh, port side loosen all these uh, bolts up they're not that tight and you, when you put them back you don't want to put them tight also I mean it, this thing is not if you put them too tight you risk that you're gonna crack something crack the uh, the top of it so let's see how this one is I'm gonna remove this one and sorry about you know doing this with one hand This one came with uh, the gasket stayed on. Not worried about that. And then I'll remove this um, thermostat. Hmm, this one is a little bit tougher. There it is. And this one, ooh, this one has a little bit more crud on it. If you can, as you can see, I'm gonna test this one, clean it, and then test it. This one is uh, dirty. And then here, you can see this one is a little bit more dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, clean. Okay, this one had a little bit more crud on it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, test and see if um, if it opens up. Remember, as you can see, inside the hot water, let's see if I get right there, it popped up. And then once I put it in the cold water, it'll come down. You actually can see that real time it coming down. So that's the thermostat opening and closing. So we are in good shape. 
with this thermostat it's working fine okay so now we'll put this one back in its home and then we'll and um, we got this pretty clean this one I mean you know it's not exact it's, a, it's pretty clean put this back here this one goes here this one goes here and we'll put it back and make sure there's no leaks it's four bolts we're gonna tighten them all the way down each side I'm gonna do like a X and tighten them little by little until they seat and then a little bit more here and a little bit more so slight turn and that's enough and then here I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna tighten them in an X pattern I guess if you want to call it that way once it's tight once I feel that it's seated there it is and now I go this one okay in an X pattern I don't want to tighten one the left or the right I want to do an X pattern and then just increase the tightness in the X pattern here we go go back here that's it don't over tighten these you'll break them and that should be enough and then I'll close this up and then I'll start it up and check for leaks. Okay, no leaks. Okay, no leaks. Uh, so success on this uh, repair or maintenance work on the Yamaha HPDI.